Here we are going to look at hypothesis testing for one mean. So assume that we have uh, uh, these freezing points of a simple random sample of uh, 25 uh, units of milk to test the milk for any added water in there. So how do we go about it? We go to analyze, go to distribution. All right, freezing points is our column that we are interested in. We said okay. All right, we don't see any heavy tails to either side, so we are set to use the T distribution. Okay, and uh, let's go for the T test here. Okay, so here we are going to test mean, and um, say we do not know sigma here. And uh, since the freezing point of pure milk can, in our context, can be chosen to be uh, negative point, can be not chosen to be, is a negative 0.54 degrees Celsius. That's what our hypothesized mean is. And we will talk about non-parametrics later, okay? So we are going to test for this mean, all right? And uh, here we are, okay? So we have our output for the t-test, and you can see that in this case, um, it's telling us that, oops, sorry, it's telling us that uh, we have a significant uh, evidence here, right here, that the freezing point is higher than negative 0.54, looking at uh, this p-value that we have because the alternative is right-sided here uh, higher than negative 0.54 would mean that there is added water in the milk 